Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. In this new video on 3 minute series for prelims, we will be discussing about the 5th scheduled areas. The 5th schedule of the Indian constitution deals with the administration and control of the scheduled areas and the scheduled tribes in any such state except the 4 states that is Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram which are covered through the 6th schedule. The 5th scheduled uh, areas are called the scheduled areas. So far they are present in 10 states that is Please remember the order in which I am telling so that it will be easy for you to recollect which state is part of a scheduled area or not. The first one is the Andhra Pradesh, then Telangana, then Maharashtra, then Gujarat, then Rajasthan, then Himachal Pradesh, then Madhya Pradesh, then Chhattisgarh, then Jharkhand, then Odisha. Therefore, these are all the 10 states which you can remember easily as I have gone through a sequential order in the India map. A scheduled area is declared by the president and he is empowered to do so and he is empowered also to increase or reduce the land which has already been declared as a scheduled area. Now let us look into the executive power of the state and the center whether it can be applicable to the 5th scheduled areas or not. As per the provisions of the 5th schedule it extends to both the scheduled areas but the governor there has a special responsibility in that state that is he has to submit a report to the president regarding the administration of the areas annually or such interval if the president so recommends. The main important part of the 5th schedule is the composition of the or constitution of the tribal advisory council. It consists of 20 members three fourths of whom are the representatives of the scheduled tribes MLAs in that state. A similar council can also be established in a state having scheduled tribes but not scheduled area if the president so directs. And the main purpose of the tribe advisory council is to deliberate on the issues which are pertaining to the fifth scheduled areas. Now let us see whether the laws that are enacted by the state legislature and the parliament are applicable to the scheduled areas or not. Whether the act is applicable or not, the governor has the responsibility. The governor needs to notify whether a particular act is applicable to the particular scheduled area or if it is applicable whether there are any modifications in that act to be done or not. For any modifications to be done, it needs to be done only with the approval of the president. And the regulations which are carried out by the tribe advisory council may repeal or amend any act of the parliament which are applicable to the scheduled areas and that also should be done only with the approval of the president. Now let us solve this question. Consider the following statements. There are 10 fifth scheduled states as on date. Tribe advisory council consists of 30 members. The correct answer is A, one only. As we have just discussed, there are about 10 fifth scheduled states as on date. And please remember by rewinding the video back about the states which are having the scheduled areas. And the tribe advisory council consists of 20 members and not 30 members. Therefore, the correct answer is A1 only. Thank you.